I am body positive and I believe that weight loss can help you with that. What did I just say? <laughs> did, did, I, did I ruffle anyone's feathers? I sure hope not. See, I used to be in an over 300 pound body. There were days, and this is not an exaggeration, I had a, once I had my children, I was over 300 pounds, there would be days I would lay on the ground to play with my children, and my back, the discs would slip out of place. I could not get off the floor, period. My husband, who had to go to work after I had my kids, was very uh, concerned that there would be a day he'd get a call from me saying I can't get off the floor and our toddlers and our baby, I can't get to them. Like this was legit. And I knew that I was not living the kind of life I wanted to live. I was in my early thirties. I was over 300 pounds. I was having these kinds of issues. It was not the life I wanted to live. It was not me being the active, fun, happy mom, visiting friends. When you're afraid you can't get back off the ground when you lay down on the ground, and this is a legit concern and you're not in your 70s or 80s, that's not living a full life. I don't care what anyone says. I would have to bathe my children at night, getting down on my knees on the side of the tub to bathe my children was almost impossible. The pain in my knees was excruciating. I was not feeling good in my body. How can I be body positive when everything hurts about my body? I'd wake up in the morning. I had plantar fasciitis really bad. I would stand up and it would feel like I was walking on glass. Guess what actually fixed that? losing weight. <laughs> I know in our world there's this huge divide between body positivity and weight loss and I think it's a huge injustice. I think there is a middle ground where the two could meet and what we have to do is we have to ask ourselves if we silence all the external voices. When I was going through my journey this was not a thing like there was no huge outcry about body positive or health at every size or any of this stuff. What I knew as an individual was I was in physical pain. I was not feeling positive about those aspects of my life at all. It was hard to walk. It was hard to move. Everything was hard. And so I decided to lose weight. But you know what I chose to do where the positivity came in? I decided I wasn't going to follow somebody else's plan. I was going to pick things that I could do indefinitely, that I could live with, that were healthy behavior changes, habit changes. So going for a walk, eating more fruits and vegetables, learning how to portion food out, learning how to cook, uh, learning how to reduce treats and, and fun foods because those were not serving me. I made changes that I could do for the rest of my life. I didn't go on a detox. I chose not to do an extreme diet. I chose not to do surgery or anything like that. I chose just to make habit changes and the weight came off. Worked on my binge eating behaviors, gone to therapy, did a whole lot of things to make my life better, to make my relationship with food better. And so I could physically get out of that body that was imprisoning me in daily, constant, grinding pain. I will never forget that pain. So whenever I see somebody say, oh, just be positive at whatever body weight you are and just live with it. I have a huge issue with that because you don't know how much pain this person might be in. I was in a hell of a lot of pain. I didn't want to feel that pain anymore. I wanted to be able to freely move around and help my kids and, and bend over and tie my shoes and be able to breathe at the same time. I wanted, the, I wanted to be able to go to a restaurant and fit in a booth and people might say, oh, well, they should make bigger booths for you. No, I just wanted to be normal, just a normal human body. That's all I wanted to be. Now, where I defer or I differ from all the other fitness health people out in the, in the, in the uh, internet world is I also don't believe that you have to go based on a BMI chart or a doctor's recommendation or if you belong to a weight loss support group, if they say this is what you should weigh. I disagree with that. I think you should allow your healthy habit change, your fitness, healthy changes that you make to your fitness, guide you in the direction of a weight that is sustainable for you for the long term. 
So whether, you know, you might have a chart that says, oh, you're, for your height, you should weigh somewhere between 130 and 145 or whatever. And let's just say you settle in at 155 or 160 or 170 and you've knocked off a substantial amount of weight and you're living your life the way you want to. Your body has stopped hurting you and you are in a place where you can be active and go do the things and fit into fairly normal sized seats at restaurants and all that good stuff that comes from it then stop there. Why keep going if you don't if it if you if it's a struggle to get to that next lower weight and you're just doing it because somebody's dangling the carrot out in front of you, you can choose not to go after the carrot. You can choose to say, you know, I no longer hurt, I feel good, I'm at a weight that I that is lower than where I was when I started and I have my life back. I have no pain. My medication's better. So this is the weight I will maintain and you can make that decision. See, that's where you take the autonomy from this whole process. You get to decide, not somebody else. And that's what I want to encourage everyone. Do not buy into this has to be either or either i'm all about weight loss and i'm going to get to this goal or i'm all about body positive and the health at every size and and i refuse to even think about weight loss well wait a minute how do you feel in your body does it feel good because i sure know that at 300 plus pounds my body did not feel good and if you had told me that then i'd been looking at you like are you crazy do you know how much pain i'm in on a daily basis do you know how hard it is to keep up with two toddlers and a baby being almost 300 pounds or over 300 pounds at any given time it is freaking hard and i didn't wish that on anybody because the amount of physical movement you have to do with kids that age it's a lot okay so when i say i am body positive and i think weight loss is a, is an option and, and should be pursued by many people especially if you're in a body that hurts like that i don't see anything wrong with melding the two together i do not see anything wrong with you making the decision for yourself don't feel you have to toe a line one way or the other decide what you need pursue it because you're the only one that lives in your body you're the only one that feels the pain i'm the only one that feels the lack of pain right now that i'm in but i know what it felt like because i was there i want to encourage you to take ownership of your body decide what you need decide where you want to go how you want to feel and let go of any voices that are trying to tell you it's bad to lose weight or it should be celebrated to lose weight and ask yourself, am I living my fullest life? Do I feel amazing in my body? Do I have consistent chronic pain or chronic condition that's coming from my weight? If I don't have it now, could it be in my future? Really evaluate it because you have to live in this. This is your permanent home. Decide if it's the way you want it to be. I know for me at 30 to 35, dealing with that weight, with those, with my kids being the ages they were, it was really difficult. Had I maybe had a desk job where I could have just driven in every day, got to my desk, sat at my desk all day, shuffled to the bathroom a few times, maybe it wouldn't have bothered me as much. I don't know. But in the life I was living, it was hard. And I did not want to be in that any more than I had to. So I hope this message resonates more than anything i want to encourage all people everywhere really ask yourself is this is my body giving me the ability to live my life freely the way i want to or is there pain or issues that hold me back and what if i chose to not do anything extreme what if i chose to make habit changes eating off smaller plates more fruits and vegetables protein, going for a walk, making positive changes. And it leads me down the road of gentle weight loss. And then when I get to a place where I'm not willing to sacrifice anything else, wherever I get to with my weight, that's just where I maintain my weight. And I enjoy the benefits of that. But I don't feel this urge to have to strive to get to a lower weight because somebody else told me. Just like I shouldn't be staying in a body that's uncomfortable because somebody else told me it was body positive. All right, you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.